January 8, 2010. Police discover a recent increase in the production of fake IDs in the Barrington area. I'm Ayo Holiday. Join us as we explore how McLovin is probably not the best name for a fake ID. Deacon here with Officer Powell to talk about a story that directly affects the students at Barrington High School. Officer Powell, can you tell us about the large production of fake IDs? Sure. About a couple weeks ago, the Barrington Police Department conducted a search warrant on a residence in Barrington that uh, resulted in a former student from Barrington High School uh, being charged with the production and manufacturing of uh, fake IDs, mostly from Massachusetts, Illinois, and Texas. How many fake IDs were made? We're predicting about uh, over a thousand. Um, it's, it's hard to tell at this point. Uh, we did seize a couple computers as well as uh, a couple printers as well as a bunch of other various uh, computer components uh, that directly uh, implemented him in making the fake IDs. What are the consequences going to be for making fake IDs? For the manufacturing or production of fake IDs, it's going to be a class 4 felony per ID that was made. Okay, so he's going to have several counts of manufacturing and producing of fake IDs. Uh, for a class 4 felony, the consequences are anywhere from one year to three years in jail and or up to a $25,000 fine. And now uh, that is per one count. So you have to take in consideration that this uh, individual made over a thousand IDs. We know all the names of the students who have one or who had one made and purchased it from, from this person. So it's just a matter of time uh, before they, they are caught with the fake ID. Has anyone turned their ID in yet? Yes, we've had uh, several people either mail them to us or drop them off at the police department. And uh, so if an individual turns them in, and I have examples of the ones that were turned in, we're offering these people that their names are not going to be turned over to the Secretary of State Police, and their names are going to re be removed from this book that we have compiled. What actions are the Barrington Police Department and the surrounding community doing to prevent people from using the fake IDs? Well, what we've started doing is going around to the local liquor establishment as well as any uh, store that sells liquor, and we've contacted them, letting them know that if anybody uh, near the age of 21 is showing a Massachusetts ID, that it's most likely fraudulent. And what we've told them to do is try to keep the, the individual into the store and contact the police department. Can you tell us a little bit about the book and what's in the book? Sure. The book is uh, a printout. Uh, each page is one ID, and the pages are, f are printouts from the person's uh, hard drive of his computer. We confiscated a lot of computer equipment, and he had saved all of his uh, IDs that he had created. Thank you so much for your time. And if you have a fake ID, make sure you turn it in to Officer Powell's office before it's too late. <laughs>